All right, Stockmaster fans, by request, we're going to watch Lipstick. Let's check it out. Margot Hemingway plays Chris McCormick. This is her little sister, Kathy. And this is her music teacher, Chris Sarandon. She was doing a photo shoot. Hi, how are you? She invites Mr. Stewart over to her apartment so he can play some of his experimental music. By listening to my stuff? His music's a bit experimental. Perhaps he's hoping that she can help boost his career. And seemingly out of nowhere, he attacks her. And the assault is on. Where is it? Where is it? It lasts for several minutes and it's pretty brutal. Put it on. Put it on. Please don't hurt me. Oh my God! And then Kathy comes home and sees it, doesn't know what to make of it. Want to call her in? Have some fun? We'll defecate on you. They do that? Some of them. No, he didn't. Did he sodomize you? Yes. Good Obviously, you saw the police were called. And Mr. Stewart is arrested. Are you going to stow it? Decide to testify. Now, do you understand that? Well, you, you should. You should, sure. That's Perry King, her boyfriend. Jim, I told him to get out. Jim, yeah, that can sound like come on in. You didn't throw him out. It was too late to call. I didn't get to go too late. But it began to feel good. It never did. Wait, what? That's enough. What the Damn it. I hate him! I hate him and I want him to die in jail! I want them to do it to him in jail! Spend the and next part of the film in the courtroom. Question. Then I want to state quite emphatically that Mr. Stewart's defense does not depend upon your promiscuity. He was going to... No, just answer the question. Was he there at your invitation? Yes. And you knew he was there when you posed like this? Sexy thoughts to make you a little bit hot. Thought of oral sex? Yes. He paints a Other places, entirely different she picture. She wanted me to mark this so that they would be, Clara, would be covered by. Uh, can't you do something about know, him? Please, please, I know, please stop man, it. Just... He then taunts her by calling her in the middle of the night and playing his weird music for her. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. <laughs> Anyway, Chris goes back to work as best she can. She's still pretty shaken up. We can always do things another day. Kathy's on set too, and they say, "Go off and explore." You know, there are two or three floors out there that are unoccupied. Lots of empty shops, sort of like a big fun house. Why don't you go explore? Well, Kathy does wander off, and believe it or not, Gordon Stewart, her music teacher, her sister's rapist, is performing in the building right now. He manages to coax her down there. She reluctantly agrees. Is he going to get pervy with her too? You know it. Starts putting that little heart monitor thing down her chest. And our pervy music teacher chases her. Shows up. Who, who did this to you? Ever since her assault, she's been carrying a rifle in the car, and now she finally has a chance to use it.
we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty as judged. All right, let's talk about this movie, Lipstick. This was uh, requested that I watch and review this one a couple of weeks back, and I happen to have the film, so why not, right? I haven't seen it in a very long time, actually, but... Uh, this is the film debut of both Margot Hemingway and her little sister, Mariel Hemingway. In fact, they play sisters in this movie, too. I think Mariel was 15. Margot was maybe, I don't know, 20, something like that. She was older, obviously. So anyway, uh, Margot in the movie, as in real life, is a model. And um, she was doing this photo shoot down by the ocean. And uh, her sister, Mariel, brought her teacher, played by Chris Sarandon, who you might remember as the lead vampire in Fright Night, uh, brought her teacher down to meet her big sister because um, she's it's, it's her music teacher and she really likes him a lot so she wanted him to she wanted to introduce her to her older sister um, Chris Sarandon has these weird um, he's like this he's a musician and he creates this uh, I guess you'd call it electronic music uh, just kind of some weird funky stuff and he uh, asks if he can play some for Margo and she says sure come over to my flat to, you know tomorrow night whatever it is so he comes over Mariel's not there a little sister and uh he plays some of the music. Uh, he gets a little jealous when the phone rings. And then he ends up raping her. And it's a, like a vicious attack. He rapes her in the bedroom, does everything to her. Meanwhile, Mariel comes home, sees uh, like the tail end of it, thinks, uh, doesn't know what to think exactly, and, and leaves. And then Chris Sarandon leaves. Uh, before he left, though, he said, should we invite her in too, have some fun? Um, so he's a, a real sicko. But anyway, he leaves. Um, he's arrested. Uh, they do call the police and charged with rape. Uh, but the trial is a really rough trial. Um, they paint uh, they paint her not as a victim, as a willing participant. Um, she invited him over. Um, Mariel couldn't corroborate anything. She just kept saying, he raped my sister, he raped my sister. But um, it's because she her sister told her that she raped her. And she really, he, she really was raped. But um, ultimately, the guy is found not guilty. So anyway, she has a rough time adjusting to this, does Margot. But she goes back to her modeling job. Mariel comes with her one day, and she wanders off, and, and they're, they're in this building somewhere. And it turns out, of all things, Chris Sarandon is in that same building. I think his name is Gordon Stewart in this movie. He's in that same building performing some of his weird music stuff. And then uh, he calls uh, Mariel over and kind of coaxes her over. And then uh, he kind of goes after her, chases her down. We don't know exactly. He clearly ripped her clothes. Did he actually assault her? I don't know um, what exactly he did. But when Margot finds out about this, she grabs a rifle from her car and stalks him in the parking lot and shoots the hell out of him kills him and then the last scene in the movie is her in court being found not guilty of the murder so anyway that is lipstick so anyway what we got here like i said it's it's a brutal assault that happens on margot Hemingway. the critics were not very kind to this movie i think they for one thing they thought that assault was very brutal which it was it really really was um um margot Hemingway has several nude scenes in this movie uh including obviously in the rape scene which is not a very enticing but she does have some modeling nudity as well and of course obviously she wasn't really raped for the movie so but yeah that is lipstick again not critics not very kind to it came out in 1976 um, maybe it's available on Blu-ray now. I'm not sure. It definitely is available on DVD, clearly. Paramount put this out. I've had this for a very long time. I don't think I've seen this movie since maybe the mid-90s. So, But anyway, that's it. So check it out. Lipstick. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Watch it. Bye.